Uh, hi everyone. Today we are here with Deep Wilson, the author of the book Lights Run. He is a prolific writer and a highly acclaimed educationist with decades of experience in senior roles. So welcome to you, Kyoto. Today we will be talking to you about your new book, Lights Run. So uh, this is not your first book, is it? When uh, when did you start writing? Well, yes, this is not my first book. Uh, I started writing when Beyond Lines was published. And here I have the book with me, Beyond Lines. Yes. And I have in the acknowledgement page, I have mentioned my family momentum, which I would like to start with. My wife, yes. Radhika Wilson, Sandeep, Neha, Shrey, Ariza, Ruse Mayer, Smiles in Adversity, Zaruhi, Our Pets, Tia, and Snuggles. So this is my first book published oh, by Yuki Oto. And okay. then yeah. I am in as author in a Wide Awake Volume 1. And to continue, I am as well in as author in Summer Waves Volume 1. And recently, my poem, Summer Breeze, has been awarded prominence through this particular Summer Waves Volume 1. And now comes in Life's Run. This is Life's Run. And I would like to show this to you. And here we are with Life's Run. Yes. Well, so, uh, uh, I started, yes, please. I started yes. writing uh, mm -hmm. a long, long time back as I'm an educationist. And yes. being an educationist, I've been writing and being a motivational speaker as well, I've articulated my thoughts off and on. And it was here. I, if I can recall correctly, it was in May 2021 when I was having an informal chat with my wife. And I said, I think I seriously need to get my work published. But all along, I was looking for a title, a relevant, meaningful title that would click with everyone. And instantly came the response from her. She said, beyond lines. And that clicked with me. And there it was. And Yuki Oto paved the way for my authorship. So that's how I came into the world of authorship. That's a very lovely story about your first publication. So um, now that we are talking about life's run tell us about the book without giving too much away well life's run takes us through life and how to make our life meaningful more significantly how to make our lives run um, smoothly without stress. And this is what Life's Run opens up with. In Life's Run book, there is a part called the relay, the sprint, the marathon. And in the relay part, there are those who are running the relay have given a glimpse of their life's run. And in the marathon part, the author takes us to that part which stresses us throughout life. And what is that stress? We can tackle those who are sweet. We can tackle those who are sour, 
but we do not know how to tackle those who are sweet and soft. So life's run gives everyone the way out as to how we can tackle those who are sweet and sour. And in this round, I have also mentioned as author on the cover of the book, and it says, those sweet and sour figure out what to do. In life's run book, or in life's run, look beyond lines. Walk with those who appreciate your word. But those who do not appreciate your word is where this book takes us through. So this takes us to that world where we get a glimpse of those who do not appreciate us in our life's run. Yes. All right. Uh, so now, can you tell us that how was your journey in life and its run? What experience did you take from your life to put it in the book? Well, from school to workplace, my journey has been of accomplishments. I have achieved school, college, university as a sports person. And at workplace, in senior positions, I climbed all ladders. But during all this time, in my life's run, I was missing out on something. During this time when I was at workplace, my focus was on work to accomplish. And being overseas in Muscat for decades, I lost on something. And I'll be very candid here in what I say. I lost on exactness of relationships. I lost on intricacies in life as my focus all time was on work and work. I lost on who is who. And in this throat life, and now it's been after decades that I have come to that part of my life wherein I have come to know about what is life's run and what is the meaning of life. Is it work? No, not work all the time. This is what I've realized. It is beyond that. It is beyond work. And this is what my journey takes me to now. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, so what advice do you have for the youth who has yet to face real life challenges? Well, uh, when we are young and when we achieve, when we accomplish, when we win, we feel motivated, we feel inspired. But at that time, we don't realize that our work accomplishment is short-lived. A stage will come in life when all this will fade away. And my advice to youth would be to not let your work priorities overshadow your passion. It is your passion accomplishment that is going to stay on with you. If you are into writing, then your writings will stay on with you throughout life. If you are into music, that will stay on with you throughout life. If you are a sports person, that will stay on with you throughout life. 
stay with your passion throughout life. You may not be able to play at some stage in life if you're a sports person, but certainly you can guide other sports persons. So stay on with your passion. And this is what, because passion accomplishment, as I say, stays on throughout life. Whereas work accomplishment is short-lived and fades away. And to all youngsters, I would say, you can make your own life a masterpiece. It is not at all difficult. All that you have to do is, during the day, don't let go of your passion. Absolutely. Yes. That's a lovely advice uh, coming from you. So can you tell us that um, what is the difference you see when you looked at life 10 years ago from uh, how you look at life now? How much have you evolved as a person? Well, again, as I've said, I'll be very candid in what I say. And before I delve into this and focus on this very nice question that you have asked, I would like to mention and say that we cannot generalize all views. This particular view is mine and it comes as I relate it with my own personal experiences. And going back to the question, 10 years ago, time. 10 years ago, emotions. 10 years ago, relationships. Now, in the present scenario, no time for each other. Emotions have taken a back seat. We do not know, we are perplexed if emotions are genuine. Relationships are through convenience. And let me here mention that in my book, Beyond Lines, I have written about what is a relationship and if you allow me to, I would like to read that reason because the response to this particular aspect or what I mentioned in Beyond Lines is in Life's Run book. So can I go ahead and read? Sure, yeah, please go ahead. So it goes like this. What is relationship? Sailing in a ship all around a vast sea, same ship, different compartments, same board, different launch, sea, same uprising waves. We try fathom its depth exactly, all measure differently. Perplexed in exactness, we let it be. When stormy, we'll see. When calm, we'll remain content with glee. In both stormy or calm sea, convenience we see. Relationship, a ship in a vast sea, our own convenience. Our own convenience we see. And as I go on, I have slightly elaborated on this aspect. One learns a lot in life, but still a lot remains that one keeps looking for. In formal lanes, one can get trained, but in informal lanes, one has to go through experiences to get a glimpse of its complexities. And 
how do we deal with these complexities? This is not given in Beyond Lines book, but how we deal with complexities is given in Life's Run book under the title, The Way Out. So the way out in Life's Run book takes us through what needs to be done. Second part of the question that you've asked is, if I have evolved, yes, I have evolved considerably through the years. Experience teaches us, I repeat, experience teaches us. And through experience, now, I can see life through and through. I can see the difference between yes and no. Yes. I now know when just one no is uttered, what would be the reaction which I was oblivious of earlier, which I know now. Now I know, after many years, who is who. I repeat, now I know after many years, who is who. And how to deal with those who are giving us that stress is distinctly elaborated in life's run book. Yes. yes. Uh, so one of my last questions to you is um, you have said such beautiful lines from Beyond the Lines and uh, Life's Run. So manifesting positivity is the key to a happy life. We all agree. But we often come across a lot of hurdles in life. Uh, sometimes we have nobody to share it with. Sometimes we are demotivated, and sometimes a lot of problems are even uh, you know people become very suicidal. So how do you suggest to deal with those problems with a positive mindset? Well, again, I focus on this aspect very deeply, and it all depends on us how we see life. I take it this way, that in a flight, there is always turbulence. There is some sort of turbulence. It depends on us if we fear that turbulence or we take it as a matter of routine, just as the pilot does. The pilot does not fear that turbulence because the pilot takes it as a routine. A batsman, a cricket player, the batsman when he goes to the field to play, they can be that the batsman takes it to score runs. Another batsman who goes down to the field can take it as getting out while scoring those runs. So we see here positivity and negativity that is reflected in the two. And while the batsman gets out on duck without scoring and comes in in the next innings to bat again, the batsman hears a loud shout in the stands, spectators are shouting, a hundred, score a hundred runs now. So we don't have to listen to those who are shouting in the stands for a hundred, because if we target a hundred, we may not get that. And if we don't get that, we would feel demotivated. So what should we target? 
as a batsman. We should target just one run because earlier we were out on duck and easily we can score a run. So when we have scored one run, that is our win. That is our accomplishment. That is what we have achieved in life. When we target, we need to target what we can easily achieve and not through what other people want us to achieve, but what we ourselves want to achieve. And in Beyond Lines book, again, I've mentioned that we are never alone in life. We do tend to think that we are alone in life. No, we are never alone. And as author, I've mentioned in Beyond Lines, seek not outside, seek within. Soul, friend, within. Seek within. The you and you within. So that you within is with us. That soul friend is with us. When we drive, when we drive, we are on the steering and we are in control of the steering. Nobody can help us and guide us at that time. Whether we accelerate or sure. Whether we drive at slow pace, it all be in control of our steering all the time of our lives run in control of that. Yes. Yes. Uh, true. So uh, thank you so uh, thank you so much for uh, all the you know advices and wisdom and you have shared with us and thank you so much for your time and uh, we had a really lovely time chatting with you. So, well, before um, we wind up, yes, sure. Uh, before we wind up, may I mention that life's run, we need to make our life's run perfect. Absolutely. Whether we read, whether we read life's run book or we don't read life's run book, it's up to us. But let's make our life's run a perfect life's run. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Mr. Deep Wilson. And uh, to everybody who's watching this, Deep Wilson's new book, Life's Run, an amazing light, uh, book about you know, growing up in life because you can never stop learning. Let, about me, uh, how to be, uh, let me thank, yeah. let me thank, let me thank Shisha Roy, the host, who has, on behalf of Yuki Yoto, given me this honor as author of Life's Run to share my views. And thank you, Shisha Roy, and thank you, Yuki Yoto, for all the honor bestowed on me. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. B. Person, and thank you so much on behalf of Yuki Yoto for your kind words, and the feelings are absolutely mutual. So as I was saying that um, you can never stop learning about how to be a better human being every day. So Deep Person's new book, Life Run, can be found on our official website. And the link to the book will be in the caption down below. So we are now signing off. And thank you so much, uh, Mr. Deep Person, for participating. And uh, we hope to see you again. And thank you, everyone. We are signing off. So bye-bye. Thank, Bye, you. Mr. Thank you so much. Thank you.